Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Taker video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can install this super cool photo mode. As you can see right now, I'm using it inside of the game. As you can see, you can set emotes, you can change these effects, so we have all these different effects. As you can see, antique, um, this filter, dramatic, and monochrome, let's turn that off. What else do we have? We can also hide all the other playing players on the screen so we can make sure everything is nice and clean. We can also make our avatar look directly at the camera, which I think is just a nice touch. And then also, as you can see, we can blur the background, and then if we click on that green button, it takes a photo. So now let's head over to Roblox Studio, where I'll teach you on how you can make this for yourself. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. Start by clicking on a game you already have, or by creating a new one. I'm going to create a new one. Now make sure everything is cleared and ready to go. And first of all, let's start by opening Toolbox. So if you don't know how to open up Toolbox, just make sure you're on the Home tab and click Toolbox. Then let's head to the next categories. And then what we need to do is click Show All. And then we're going to click on Developer Modules. Now let's click on that. And now we need to look for the Selfie Mode module. So where is it? It should have a camera icon. It's not that one. It's not that one. Okay, it's this one. So let's click on that. And our super simple setup for this, all we need to do is drag that file, as you can see it inserts a picture, but all we need to do is drag that model inside of service group service, and guess what, we're ready to go. So to start, let's just publish that, I'm gonna give it a name, and then let's publish it, or you can just upload it if you already have a game, okay it's loading, and then like any good developer, let's test it out, so let's click and play, okay we're loading. Okay, let's close all of this gibberish to the side. And as you can see, we have the photo button, no errors in output, and as you can see, we can do whatever we want. So that's super cool, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you learned something new. I'm going to do a few more of these quick tutorials over the next few weeks on how to use these quick Roblox developer modules. Thanks for tuning in, that's all from me, and bye bye